Well, welcome back to Lunch Money. Time to break into your Lunch Money snack pack. Let's find out uh, what other trades are going to keep you uh, fed for the rest of the afternoon. Alex, what do you got? In commodities, when it comes to copper, Eric Zuccarelli, independent trader, says if the Fed doesn't deliver QE next week, brace for a pullback, which he would be buying into. He sees prices over $4 by the end of the year. In currencies, El Salino, senior currency strategist for RBC Europe, says the week jobs report Friday boosted expectations for QE3. She likes to be long euro this week against the dollar, long-term short dollar, long yen. And in options, options expert Neil Grossman says keep an eye on the euro from a macro perspective. He recommends buying the 125-122 November put spread. This strategy will protect you from a downward move in that currency. All right, two themes today. More evidence of slowing global growth. That's number one. Number two, debate over what the Fed will do on Thursday. And as a result, stocks are sideways.